Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the patch tool on PhotoP website. So all you need to do is just go and open the browser that's going to use to follow this tutorial steps. So of course, here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other uh, browser it could be possibly working for you. So of course, when you open your browser, just go in the to the URL and type PhotoP.com and hit the enter button. So that will certainly take you will take you into this page and from here you can actually like create a new project you can uh, open something from your computer you can choose some of their psd slides or you can just drop your file here in this section and start editing on your thing that you dropped of course from here just going to click at new projects and choose one of those templates from here just going to choose let's say as an example this one and let's just wait until it loads as you can see when it loads we will find every component in this image or in this uh, template here at the right as you can see you can start moving them you can like edit them if you want you can do whatever you want with them of course if you regret your choice and you want to go back uh, you did a step and you want to go back all you need to do just go and hit the Control z as many thing as many steps as you did and you will go to the original case or page Anyway, so of course you'll find the patch tool here at this left options. Just go one, two, three, four, five, the fifth option, and go here and click at patch tool. So of course before start using this patch tool, you cannot use it at anything is not which is not a raster size. So of course, let's say as an example I want to uh, patch uh, use the patch tool on this skull. So let me just go here to this skull to this layer and make it like a raster size and then just go and select the patch tool then select this area so now if i move it as you can see it creates a copy of it and of course just in the borders of this patch tool that you dropped as you can see now you can of course create several copies if you want and that will be it so that uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope you like it thank you again for watching goodbye